come and sit up here, girls. Paula has some questions for the panel. And then, when we're finished with those, we can go to the audience and see if um, anybody in the audience has any questions for these lovely young women. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation to be here today and um, for the patrons panel and how fantastic it is to see these four women, tradeswomen, sitting here today. It's great. So thank you for coming. I know it's hard taking a day off work <laughs> to be here. Um, so just quickly a snapshot um, for myself personally before we move on to the thing there, the panel is. Uh, mechanic by trade, I haven't worked in the trade for a long time, um, but I still use my skills uh, on my FB Holden panel van that I just bought. Um, I, with a colleague of mine, Fiona Cooper, we started up the Orange Women's Shed, which has been incredibly successful over the last few years, and it's now progressing and is moving forward to become a, a corporate, which is fantastic, and the president's here today, Michelle. Um, along with a few other women from the shed, which is great. Um, and uh, I guess the other hat I'm wearing today is to represent SALT, which is the Supporting and Linking Trades Women. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, starting from the grassroots and, and changing the attitudes and educating uh, in schools before year 10. And uh, SALT definitely does that, along with other uh, groups like Two Sheds down in Bega and a few other places. But particularly SALT, uh, they're moving through primary schools, they're running workshops. So I was fortunate enough to be involved in their first workshop at uh, Candos Primary School. It was an amazing experience for me personally, but also to watch these young Year 5 girls who were incredibly shy, not confident, probably never picked up a tool in their life, um, some of them. Uh, and the boys on the sideline saying, you know, they're not really, not real trades people, you know, that as we were setting up, they're not really tradies. To the flipping, where we just had to rein some of the young girls in by the halfway mark. They were so confident, they were booming, and the boys were going, miss, miss, we want to join in, we want to join in. <laughs> so starting right there at that primary school level with those kids, they'll go home to their parents, they'll talk about it and their parents will then have a different attitude, hopefully, because they're significant in their life. Right, so, Grace, I'm going to start with you. No, I'm, not. I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I'm not, I'm not joking, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, firstly, let's introduce yourselves, one by one, what you do, and just what your day looks like, briefly, a snapshot of what you do in terms of work. Uh, so I'm Grace Steve Party. I work for Ladies and Constructions in Wagga Wagga. Um, I'm a second year builder and uh, we do more commercial uh, stuff than normally technical homes. Um, so at the moment I've been currently working at Kapuka, um, renovating the uh, bathrooms up there for uh, the Awesome. Um, I'm Natalie. I also work for Latex. Um, I'm a fourth year carpenter. Um, as Grace said, yeah, we are commercial, so we do a lot of concreting and um, other work, which is good. You get a different variety of not just building, you get commercial and residential and all that kind of stuff. So, no, it's good. Awesome. Um, I'm Cassie. Um, I've been a painter and decorator for 10 years now. Did a traditional apprenticeship. Um, and now in my second year of running my own business full time. Um, I'm based in the Albury Wodonga area, far away from you. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely loving being the boss. Being the boss, yeah. I'm Bridget. I'm a qualified electrician. I'm, I've been qualified for a few years now. Um, I'm currently on maternity leave, that's Hudson up the back with my mum. Um, I am looking to go back though, um, next year in January, so have six months break with Hudson. Um, I currently, well, I was employed with my boss, I did my apprenticeship with him, um, Jumpy Electrical in Aubrey Wodonga, and I will probably be looking at going back to him, but I've been discussing even today with Cassie about um, branching out and doing contract work on my own. Um, that's another option for me, but 
probably something a bit more flexible with the a newborn, six month old. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Well, that's uh, going to be challenging yourself along the way there. Okay, so I've got a list of questions here. I'm not sure how much time we've got. We've probably got at least half an hour. Yeah. No, really? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I better talk slower then. <laughs> okay, so, so we'll start at this end anyway because we've got a list of uh, questions that I'd just like to get some ideas on. What made you want to work in your trade? I think that's the most commonly asked question, isn't it? Um, I wasn't a very um, hands-on. I didn't do any of the woodwork or any of the trade classes at school. After I left school, I just had no idea what I wanted to do. <laughs> so I tried the pre-apprenticeship, um, and I just loved it. I stuck with it. And I couldn't. I, it was hard some days, and I didn't. I, some days you felt like you wanted to give up, and which is easy, like to have that feeling in a male-dominated industry, but. You just got to push through and, yeah. So was there any information given <coughs> to you at school? No, none at all. So after I left, I did physics in year 12, um, which really benefited through electrical. electrical yeah, because yeah. it was mostly the same kind of formulas and all that, mathematics. Um, but yeah, there was no information at school. I was I got early entry to a university to do early childhood, which was going to be my career path. Um, but I wasn't ready for that after I left school, so I tried something else and just stuck with it and loved it. Yeah. That's great. Thank but yeah, there's not there was nothing at school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, I was similar. I had no idea what I wanted to be in high school. I just did my BCE. I thought it's at least that year twelve was a good education to start with. Um, yeah, the stress of not knowing what you wanted to be just kept mounting. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just remember growing up, my dad was a diesel mechanic, my brother's an upholsterer. Um, we didn't have like a lot of money, so um, if, like my mum wanted the painting done, we wanted the tiling done, anything like that at home, she just did it herself. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'd seen my parents, you know, doing hands-on sort of stuff. And like that's pretty good role models, and because both genders were doing the manual efforts at home, um, I had no idea that it was so. Like women don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Because like, something you grew up with. I so just grew up with yeah. it. Yeah. So that was like a bit of my history. Um, yeah, and then yeah, just uh, applied for a painting and decorating apprenticeship. I was nineteen. Um, I was the oldest one in my class <coughs> and the only girl. Most of them were like 15 year old boys. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, just haven't looked back since. Yeah, it's good. And that touches on that role modeling, you know, that the seeing it and doing it sort of stuff, which yeah. is important. Definitely. That's why it wasn't any different, I guess, for you. That's it. I was shocked that people were like a girl who can't be mm. trading. Yeah. Like, why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's the next question. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm a bit the same. I didn't know what I wanted to do either and I was always hands-on. I um, did metal tech and wood tech all during school. I was the only girl. I didn't really care. I didn't even realise that I was the only girl. Um, I grew up with like two older brothers and um, I'd always beat them up so it wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, being on site, like Casey said, I, I didn't really realise you know, that I was the only girl. Like I just grew up with boys all the time. Mostly all my mates are boys, um, so yeah, but it was good. I don't really, um, I didn't see the big fuss in the women, women dominating um, industry, but yeah, it's um, it's really cool and really fun, so yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it sounds like you could hold your own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't, don't mix up with her on the AFL field, either. <laughs> Grace, same question. What made you get into it? Uh, growing up, I've always been pretty sporty, so I always did every single sport that I could possibly get out of school mm. to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, having all my family in the construction industry has been pretty helpful. Um, mm. Like my dad, so he's my boss, and um, having him support me as well as having that who started before me um, has been pretty helpful. Being obviously the only girl in my tape class is a bit challenging because they're all pretty. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. 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 Yes.
like you're doing, you know, yeah. easy on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So pros and cons of having your father as your boss, I guess. Yeah. Pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. She's choosing the words very carefully. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're going to talk about it later, don't you worry. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. And so you said your family members were trainees as well. Yeah, so my yeah. dad's dad was one, my yeah. dad's, my dad's brothers. Okay, okay. all well, trainees. That's good. Yeah. So you just followed in the footsteps naturally, yeah. which yeah. is great. Awesome. Okay, so what's been the most helpful factor, I, I guess, that supported you to where you are? You sort of mentioned that just now, Grace. Um, family and, yeah. and things like that and having someone else before you. Yep. Yeah. That'd be one of the things that you found quite helpful. Yeah. yeah. As I said before, that was very helpful and um, I did a, a couple of weeks work with work experience when I was in high school and having that there was um, a lot easier to go through it, obviously, because it is a male-dominated industry. And, yeah. Um, but yeah. <coughs> so was that offered up at school for you? Uh, no, it wasn't. No, that was just something you, you knew about anyway. Yeah. And you just put your hand up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I guess that's what we talked about before. It's not offered up at school, and that's one of those things that possibly could change. Thanks. Um, I think um, Dad's been pretty supportive of me. Um, he. He's always like, yeah, yeah, you should do it. Like he always wanted one of the boys to do a trade trade job so that you know they could help him. But I was the one that ended up doing it. And now he's always like, oh, can you come fix this? Or can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> how do you put this on? Or whatever it may be. But um, yeah, no, it's been really good. Um, yeah, he's supported me. Mum was a bit because it's so male dominated, but um, she's good now. Um, but yeah, no, he's been. He's been really good and um, really supportive, but now everyone's really supportive of it, and um, yeah, because I've been yeah. on it for a while now. Yeah, so. family's been yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Great, um, Cassie. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say like I mentioned before, like my parents um, were very supportive. Um, they just said whatever makes you happy, um, doesn't matter what career path you take. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have said there was any support at school. I did Catholic schooling all the way through. Um, there didn't really seem to be anything other than you must go to uni, basically. Um, and uni, that's, I know we're at a uni right now, but uni was like, <laughs> <laughs> uni didn't, um, didn't really feel attracted to go to uni at all. Like it just yeah. it didn't seem like something I wanted to do. But I say also support comes from some of the female customers I've had, yeah. they say, like they're not all good, but some of, them, <laughs> some of the customers, they say, um, probably the elderly women, is that the correct term? Yeah. Um, they say, you can call us whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they would say to me like, I wanted to do that when I was younger, yeah, yeah. and I was turned off it, I was told not to do it, yeah. and it's so cool to see someone doing it, like good on you basically, yeah. and that supports like, yeah. I can do something that they didn't get the opportunity to, so that's So what we've moved forward. forward a little bit there for sure. Slightly. <laughs> yeah, which is cool. And just on that university thing, I mean, people forget that tradings can pull a lot of money you know, they can. You know, they have to work hard. Of course, everyone does. But you, can, you know, hourly rate is not not too bad. Yeah. And who's going to put their hand down the toilet? <laughs> Your husband. Not <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. Well, speaking of my husband, he's a plumber. <laughs> he's um he's been a really big support from the start. Um, because he I've actually been with him the whole time. I've done my apprenticeship, started my apprenticeship and finished my apprenticeship. Um, so yeah, he loved it. He loves telling people that he's his wife's an electrician. <laughs> um, but yeah, also my family, like, they just all love it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. financially, like it's, it. <laughs> financially it's difficult when you go through apprenticeships. Oh, it's yeah. not, not a lot of money, is it? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, but it's not, and it is difficult to, mm. without that support. You know, yeah. Support yourself financially. So. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. What's the most? What What question are you the most tired of hearing <laughs> on the subject of women trainers? Um, great to start with your end. You get the good. You want to start the other end? Or? Um, 
how do you find working in male-dominated industry? <laughs> <laughs> the most common question I've had. Yeah. Did you just tell them how, where you live and how you jump in the car and you drive around the corner and that's how you find it? Or? <laughs> 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 no. No. Do you have a, you have a comeback? <laughs> oh, You've got to find a good comeback. Yeah, no, 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 just, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's a pretty common question. Yeah, it is. And I know what you're going to say. Didn't even notice it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. But um, probably um, what made you want to do a trade? Yeah. Because you didn't even like it. Didn't really think about it. Like it was just. I gave it a go and I really liked it. So. Yeah. 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 It just wasn't. Um, I'd say there's a couple very common questions I probably get on every job. Um, yeah, like. How did you get into it? Um, why did you get into it? Um, do you actually enjoy it? And I'm like, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> 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 I know pain is something you seem to love or hate, so I wouldn't do it just half ass. Um, and I always get, um, how long have you been doing it for? Like, um, sort of along the lines of, are you actually qualified? Yeah. Yeah. Like, just picked up a brush yeah. and just painted my house. And I'm like, it's your invoice that just went up to you. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> Arsehole <laughs> tax. Yeah. But um, yeah, always, yeah, how long have you been doing it? Are you qualified? Um, and also, is your dad a painter? Is your partner the boss? Um, yeah. I always get that. And I think my bosses were offended when I was an employee because, like, they wouldn't have been old enough to be my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. They're probably the common ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm similar to Cassie. Um, the it was actually funny. Um, I we took on a male apprentice only last year, and he was 17 when he started, and I was 25. And we went to a job, and a lot of the time they think he's the qualified. Mm -hmm. Because he looks, when I'm in my uniform, no makeup, hair all scruffed up, I look like a teenager. And he looks like a, the older one. And they always think that he's the qualified, and I have to step in front and take charge and say, No, I'll be taking charge of this job. <laughs> so, yeah, I get that a lot as well. And um, I also get, Why did you want to do it? And a lot of the time, like, I know it's one of the questions that was on the sheet, but I would honestly I'll always answer with, Why not? Like, why come? Why, why should I have to justify it kind of thing? It should be allowed, like, it should be normal for everyone kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, Grace, why not? Yeah, <laughs> I always, it's what I answer with yeah. to customers all the time. And it'll be <laughs> one day where it just will be the norm. Yeah. And that's what everybody's working towards. Yeah. You know? That's part of this whole project. Uh, does having other women on site help in any way? Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not going to go that way. <laughs> um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what should you do to help the bank account? <laughs> <laughs> and does it help to the other women on site? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it does actually have um, help. Um, takes a bit of the nerves away all the time. Um, it's always good having Nat always there beside me. Always, if there's a question that you know, I don't feel comfortable asking and yeah. that knows the answer. Yeah. She always, um, you know, projects it uh, nicely and shows yeah. it away. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is very good. Yeah. Cause, um, so you two, did you go through school together or not? No, different school, but different you did a different year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, you, and now same employer. Yeah. That's awesome. That's good. Um, I mean, when I started, I didn't have anyone on site. So it was just, I was the first um, apprentice girl from for Latex. Um, so there wasn't anyone on site, um, which didn't bother me. I didn't really care. But now Grace is there, it's really good because we knew each other before. So yeah. it was just having another friend there. Um, but yeah, when I started, it wasn't really, didn't really phase me at all. I got along with all the fellas really good. So um, I haven't had an issue with it. But yeah, definitely haven't, having Grace there's been good. Mm, yeah. When you went for your um, 
job, was there any question about whether or not they would employ you as the first of friends, I guess? Um, no, because um, John approached, will come to me and said, <laughs> want a job, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Um, so obviously he thought that, you know, I could yeah. give it a go and, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want, so. Yes. Um, yeah, I probably changed my answer on this from when I was first an apprentice. Um, like myself, I was the only girl, um, the only female on site, so I didn't know any different. And then when I would occasionally, not very often, but if I occasionally saw another female, it was a bit like, mm, this is my territory. <laughs> 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 it's like, you know, all your attention's on me, so, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but, but that's why I've changed now, because, like, I see, like, you know, it's, got, it's definitely benefits, mm. and... Now if I see a female, I go up and I say, like, I introduce myself and I say, like, good on you, stick at it, like, and try and support them rather than back off, I want this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely good. It's awesome. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's beneficial. But I think it's interesting that you say that because I was a bit like that at the start of my apprenticeship. Whenever I saw a female out there, I didn't know how to approach it mm -hmm. and start bridging that gap of talking about it and being like, how are you going? And um, But then I was a bit un unconfident in myself at that stage too, yes. to even do that. Um, but now, uh, yeah, it's definitely beneficial. I went to a job site in Ballarat and there was two girls in the same company like you guys, a Sparky company. It was just, I loved seeing it there and I was always over their shoulder wanting to talk to them on site and... Yeah, it's so beneficial having females around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just going back to um, Cassie, the salt group you've been involved with, do you think that, that lead there that they've been having, has that had any...? Um, yeah, it's, it's benefit in some ways, like seeing so many other tradeswomen. The first conference that was held for them back in... Um, in Wollongong, yeah. 15 or something like that, yeah, in Wollongong. Um, I think there was 100 tradeswomen showed up at the first um, conference they held, and I didn't know there were so many. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really good. Um, but women are catty, like guys are so much easier to get along with. So when you get a group of them together, like, Sometimes it's, it's not always good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just being honest. But um, yeah, if you get the non-caddy ones. Um. <laughs> well, you know, that's, 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 yeah, that's true. true. And, I mean, it, it, I'm not sure if it's the same in the trades with tradeswomen, but we work, well, I worked, and we often do women work in um, female-dominated areas with community services and whatever it is and it can be quite difficult to navigate at times mm -hmm. but That's anyway nice. all right here we go um what advice would you have for others who want to set up in a similar direction or get set up in a similar direction grace you start <laughs> um, any advice oh. should i do it yeah yeah sure <laughs> Uh, any advice? Well, it would be good if it was if it was brought into schools and stuff, so that girls have the opportunity to then talk about it with um, other people, and then um, you know, obviously, if they know girls who is in the trade, you know, they can always give them a, um, a tip and um, you know, tell them to keep at it or just try it and don't be afraid and don't let obviously the male um, dominance you know get to you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah, um, you, you, what, what would you say? Yeah, I don't know this question. <laughs> um, but yeah, I reckon, um, yeah, give it a go. Um, I know some... Um, again, I'm very similar to Cassie. Um, I think that going through an apprenticeship and at the age I did, um, as many women in the room would know, we are hormonal um, <laughs> and we do cry. So when I screwed up, like do shed a few tears and you feel like you're not good enough you don't want to keep going kind of thing 
I think as well with going back to the school, being in schools as well, it's important for women to know and young girls to know that it's okay to cry, it's okay to have a shit day. As long as you've got a good employer that understands that you are a female <laughs> um, and you will have those days, um, that's the advice I give them that them, them themselves need to push through those days and even the physical side of it, like it's draining, you build up muscles where you didn't have muscles before, um, you just got to stick it out and it, it's so worth it in the end. Yeah. yeah. I mean I've seen Mark die, footballers, people cry, we just cry. Yeah. That's what we do, we're human. It's normal. <laughs> yeah.